Hello everybody, welcome back to Lectures in Lab Coats. My name is Sparks and I will be a lovely lab coated lecturing Let's Player for today. Uh, exciting new uh, revelation in my opinion. Um, using the new uh, 1.7 snapshot summon command, uh, you can now create wireless redstone signals that require nothing more than a redstone torch as the receiver. Um, when I press this button, you should see that the um, torch flickers for, for a brief moment. Now, the way this works, and I'm going to explain what advantages and disadvantages it has over the old wireless redstone design. The way it works is that it uses uh, the falling sand entity to replace this torch over here with another torch. Uh, the coordinates for the torch placement are placed into the command. And in that brief moment, as it replaces the old torch with a new one, the power is cut off. Um, now, the real advantage with this is, of course, its size. It's nothing more than a torch as the receiver, kind of like the wireless receivers in Feed the Beast and things like that. Uh, the old design would have to have a clock. Um, I know you can make a, a hopper clock that is smaller than this, but uh, this is the clock I've always used for wireless redstone, the old style. Um, the old design, of course, used objectives, um, creating and clearing objectives to, to set off the signal. Uh, the advantage with the old um, objective style design is that if a chunk is not loaded, um, the command will be run the next time the chunk is loaded, whereas if the chunk is unloaded when this signal is sent, it will never receive the message. But um, considering it's a single command block to send the message, and a single block to receive the message, it is a lot smaller. There's no lag because you don't have to have a clock running all the time, no matter what kind of clock you use. And I think it's just generally a very neat system. Um, let me know what you think um, and of any uh, ideas you have, any thoughts, ways of improving it. If you wanted, you could use a redstone block instead of a torch. I've tried that as well. So spawn in uh, the entity ID of uh, 152 rather than the entity ID of 76 uh, and it does exactly the same thing the reason I used a torch was that you can technically use a torch to to power something above it as well um, so yeah let me know what you think um, I'd be interested to see what you hear what people have to say about it and I will see you all in the next episode thank you for watching <laughs>